look on this it's finally here finally you can create professional level of animations technically unlimited link yes it's stitched for five seconds animations but if you notice you don't see those stitching this has given us power to create as long we want this animation in this video i want to show you how to do this i want to take you step by step what to install and how to actually render all of this stuff best of all you don't need to pay any money it's all absolutely completely free you can run on your local machine after you download the models you don't even require internet connection so you have it all flexibility of doing your art we will going to use conf ui as our ui for this reason and in this video i'm using conf ui version 0.3.48 and this is included all of these workflows that i'm going to show you the best parts of this you don't need to run around and try find this workflow find the models downloaded them it's all well done for you of course if you want to do by yourself and install a custom directory you always have this flexibility so if you're not familiar with comp ui i will provide link for you i think it's right there in a corner or down below in descriptions where i can take you from a to z on comp ui how to install how to do all this stuff so just in case if i forgot how to do this check that video well i'm assuming at this point you install comp ui and be sure you install latest version at least dot three dot 48 to include all of this workflows okay after this we're going to use the three workflows to create our animations because we are going to create main images we're going to create keyframe from those images and let applications to fill up with a between frames on this this is remind me very much of the animation early classical animation when i used to work in the studios and where i was in a betweener when artists created keyframes and i need to create this animation between those keyframes or later when i create keyframes and i let betweener to do the same job here is ai acting as betweener so you the artist who can create this main keyframe and let ai to fill up that animations between those keyframes okay what are we going to use we're going to use a three workflow the flux create flux context and of course the new one that released it, it is a van 2.214 b animation start and end frame so you can find all of them if you're going to brush template and here for example in video if you notice they just released this new van 2.214 b first and last frame to video this has allowed us to have it loading how we want start and how we end and ai will animate between of them with a prompt as we specify if you have a smaller computer that is will that workflow work also with quantized models which is much smaller like 5b and also 5b model work much faster just example when i run tests on my computer and i'm working with rtx 3090 i run for example text to video or image to image to video with a van 2.2 and it took three hours yes if you don't believe me watch my previous video where i put it to the test one 2.2 it's take three hours for five seconds animation when i'm using 5b model it took 30 minutes it's a way big different between all of us and the reason why it's a smaller model faster perform you may have a degradation in the quality so if you don't care too much about time and care more about quality then go ahead with 14b model that perform excellent but in many cases you'll find out 5b work and produce result very very good and very uh, professional level okay so we're going to use this one new workflow okay as we here let's look on other ones in the flux folder you'll find the flux create def we're going to use this one to generate our main image and you can use anything else you can use from mid journey you can use ChatGPT. it doesn't matter what you're using you want to create your main image but our next it's creating keyframe or positioning like almost jump points between each animations and for this we're going to use it flux context again i have a video about this how this 
perform very well to creating all those elements, for example. We can have a very consistent character. We can move, rotate, change camera, everything, and keep it consistency of our characters here, and after put it as a keyframe in our animations. So we're going to use it, this three workflow. What you need to do, just go right here and open this workflow. You can see it is open straightforward. If you have the latest versions to install, all nodes will be preloaded. You, should have, you shouldn't have it any red nodes. If you have it, something going wrong with your original in installations or you maybe launch wrong comp UI. Be sure you launch exactly the same latest versions of the comp UI. One thing, however, will pop up if you never opened before. It is a warning and says the missing specific models most likely it will be missing like a flux korea like this model or maybe some clip models and it just here pop up and says download it so very easy you can click download download and those models will be downloaded on your computer is all what you need to do after this you can disconnect your internet and your computer will be totally offline if you need it well, don't don't rush or disconnect. Finish watching this video and be sure you download also model for two other workflows that you needed. So after this, when everything installed, go ahead, you can disconnect and create your own animations. So notice right there in our Korea, we are preloading our main model Korea dev, which is fast, work excellent. We also have it the clip models preloaded here. And we're just going to generate any image. Uh, my suggestions for you, try to different images here. Remember, this one will be your main start point image, your character. So in many cases, you want to represent your character and a good environment in that image. Okay, after you finish rendering here, save this image. Our next step is going to the context right here to this. This one will be similar when you open You'll notice you'll use the exactly same clip model, so you're fine. You don't need to download those ones again. However, this one maybe will require download if you never use it before. But for your tool belt, you do want to have this context, flux context, because it's one of the best way, easiest to change some specific elements and keep it consistent of all images or specific person so right here you can see you have one element and i'll put a link for video specifically to this subject so you can watch them separately how it's work because i don't want to go over here over again what is already was in another videos and they've gone in much more details to explain how's everything working but right here we're uploading image and you can see i was playing with some black and white was thinking what if i create some retro movie it's kind of fun to do this now so right here is our image. Next, we specify what we wanted, like specific elements, like woman there, turn her head left, right. So remember, this is our keyframe. My uh, kind of tip and recommendation to you, don't try to make very dramatic changes of the scenes because after it will be just look not very good when it starts animating. Try to change um, more soft. And remember, this is five seconds animation. So normally, if you look, on the actual animator artist what uh, most of you do sit and you look on a mirror and you make faces and sometimes you time yourself like for example if i want to uh, smile and start uh, smiling and i time it and i see how long it will take natural so i can do this same things i would recommend for you maybe if you have it gone like what she's holding maybe she need to slowly pick up like one and two and three you know you can count how many seconds and set here for example she need to raise gun slightly up that is your next keyframe and you will put it five seconds between of this maybe turn head left or right so be clever and some other times um, we used to do keyframes so you used to do also storyboard when you put it separate images of this this is kind of more detail almost storyboard will be with your keyframe this is your workplace here you will create it uh, just Create over, don't hesitate, you know, um, run images till you succeed to something that you like it and you're um, ready to use. As well, what I would recommend for you sometimes have it maybe switch scenery if you want, not just consistent one long image. Okay, that is about all. You just have your keyframe done here. You have your main image. Next, you're ready to actually generate your animation. 
And for this, we're going to use this van 2.2 start and frame. Same, when you open, you'll notice you maybe need downloaded these models. Well, if it's first time, definitely you will. And uh, down below, I will keep it everything as a same. Just show you some small adjustments that you want to modify for us. What is interesting, it's right here. It's this our start image and our end image. In our case, we'll just loading two images. You'll notice they're exactly the same. Used with context, same character, everything. All what they modify here is put it hand on her hip. And uh, this is just about one and two. You just count about five and she'll look around. So this is our st start frame. And this is our end frame. After this, we'll need to go and specify our animations. Right there, I think it's a... Yeah, a little bit different. Control. Let's go to delete all of that stuff so we don't need this and then we can just go and explain what we wanted for example um left hand move it from down to the hip and girl looking around it's you can go in more details we do have it right here if you notice on a clip model we do have it our little bit more descriptive but it does not connecting to like a llama or other the processors so it's uh, cannot be too long or too complex if you want it you can replace a clip with like a load double clip or triple loader and then you can put it different there so maybe you can work with this but general this is you describe and also let's see what we have right here we have it our width and height if you notice currently it is 640 by 640 by 640 and our size is actually 800 by um, 1320 the problem is I think these ones will render just a little bit longer in our case but it is matching resolution on this too next we'll go say we have two k samplers if you remember with van 2.2 it's have a two passes around through them um again i'm referring to my other videos but i will actually showing how it does its render so this is our uh i think high noise right here and after we have low noise so they're passing this is first high noise going through we're using same uh steps 20 steps euler simple will work good same as right here and after this we can go ahead and start rendering and you will find your final renders will be in your output video directory or how you set and i think at this time it's all ready so we can just go click and preview right here our five seconds animations it's actually done a very good job you can see how she's looking down this is my one other animations before she put hands up as well as render different type animations as well here with when she's going down this is a five seconds animations and after this all what you need to do to use the external editor to take your videos and put it together well this is all what i want to show you today i hope that is inspire you to go and create your own animations or experiment see what you can do remember you have it three main steps generate your main character or and scenery then use it connects to context to generate keyframes of animations you want to be aware of the five seconds limitations or if you want you can render shorter but general just keep in mind your motions to have it very smooth and non motion and nice smooth and motions you want to have it like five seconds on degree on between each step on the keyframes and after all you just need to put it together in editor and done deal you can have as almost unlimited animations as you want it thank you for watching this video we'll see you next time bye